The Canton of Valle is one of the most visited regions in all of Switzerland. It is the home to many great attractions, you probably might be familiar with the Matterhorn, but there is a lot more to see. Valle is perfect for hiking, enjoying a great panorama up in the Swiss Alps, visiting villages and even for foodies. After having traveled quite around during the past years, I'm proud to present you this top 10 list of the best of the Canton of Valle. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jemo, I'm a Swiss traveler, mostly posting videos about Switzerland, Southeast Asia and the world. Now let's start to hop in with number 10 and that would be the Goms Bridge. This is probably the most photographed suspension bridge in all of Switzerland. The Goms Bridge crosses the River Rhone that origins the glacier of the same name. It's a fully free attraction, thus perfect for budget travelers. The bridge can be visited during any time of the year. I went there during winter, spring, summer and autumn. The impression was always different, but great. The Gomes Bridge is perfect to visit should you be heading to South Fe, Zermatt or other parts in the Canton of Valle. In order to arrive in here, you can just park near to the bridge. Well, here you actually have to pay, but should you be coming here by train, then you can simply just walk down and you don't even have to pay anything. Number 9 is a place I'm pretty sure you all know and that is South Fe. Welcome to the village at where last Christmas was filmed. Salzfe is similar to Zermatt, a car-free village and thus a very family-friendly destination. The village is very charming both during winter and summer. Explore the many streets, walk among the traditional wooden homes that the locals call Stadel or have some thrill at the many attractions. Enjoy a ride at the Feblitz Alpine roller coaster that is just near to the cabin station. It's super easy, but definitely gives you an adrenaline kick. Head up to the Mittelalalin on 3500 meters. For that, you'd have to take a cabin ride and then change to the Metroal Beam. Have a lunch at the world's highest located revolving restaurant and enjoy a fantastic alpine panorama. Outside on the terrace, you'll find a lot of snow, this even during summer. Also explore the Ice Pavilion, the largest man-made glacier cave in Switzerland. It's full of beautifully carved ice sculptures and there's even a church. Sausfe furthermore has great hotels. My favorite one would be the Capra that offers you not only great comfort and a spa, but also an outstanding service. The ski resort of Sausfe is one of my favorites in all of Switzerland. It offers you great and very long slopes from 3500 meters all the way down to the village on 1800 meters. Some of the most snowshore ski resorts that even is open during summer. Should you have enjoyed watching this video so far, I would very much appreciate if you could give this channel a subscribe. Now let's start click continue with number 8 and that would be the Gorge du Durno. This is definitely one of the best budget traveler attractions on this list. The Gorge du Durno is on the way to Verbier and the Grand Saint Bernard. For 9 Swiss francs you can enter this attraction and enjoy a narrow canyon full of waterfalls. We'll be crossing a few bridges, changing the sides and eventually also ascending steep stairs. The latter is my favorite section as up there the most interesting part is going to start. This, however, certainly isn't anything for people with vertigo, as you need to be free from imbalance. On your way, there are in total 14 waterfalls that you can see. They are the most powerful from May to October. The best time to arrive here would be probably during June. During July and August, this place might be a bit busy, but myself, I came here twice during October and I was able to enjoy this gem all for myself. Number 7 is one of the most hidden lakes and that is the Lac de Tanne. I introduce you to one of the loneliest places in the canton of Valle. It will be quite an effort to reach this place. First, you need to take a bus or drive by car up to Mie. 
get out at flan and from there you need to go for a really steep hike. It's going to be really relaxing at the lake and I can say it's one of the most peaceful spots to visit in this beautiful canton. But you really need to want this. The hike takes roughly 70 minutes, it's very steep, but eventually you'll be rewarded with this humble lake embedded into the Swiss Alps. The Lac de Tanne remains a secret tip among us Swiss. It's primarily known among the people of Valle or the surrounding regions in the Swiss French part. Be aware of the limited sunlight. The best time to visit is between 12 noon and 3 pm. Do hike around the lake. The raw forest full of pine trees and the moss covered rocks was something that I found quite enchanting. I visited this lake during early autumn. Some of the trees already started to turn lime green to yellow. The water was already too cold to go for a swim, but otherwise I really enjoyed my time up there. Number 6 is one of the greatest treasures in the canton of Valle and that is the underground lake. There's nothing else like this in all of Switzerland. Located in Saint Leonard near Valle's capital of Sion, you'll find this wonder of nature. The lake can only be visited upon reservation due to the limited amount of places. Furthermore, access is only possible up from spring to autumn. You'll be entering a boat and be guided through this wonderful cave, while a skipper will explain you how this lake was formed. What I can tell you without spoiling a visit is that this lake is only accessible since 1946. Important facts about the Lac Souterrain, it's 300 meters long, 20 meters wide, 10 meters deep and thus the largest natural underground lake in all of Europe. The underground lake is not only a very highlight in the canton of Valle, it's also considered a very family-friendly attraction. Although the locals speak French as their mother tongue, Tours are also conducted in German and English. We're now moving to the upper half of this top 10 list of the most beautiful places to visit in the canton of Valle in Switzerland. Number 5 goes to the Eckishorn and the Aletsch Glacier. I presented this place quite a number of times, but when you come to the canton of Valle, this is definitely a must visit. You may know the Aletsch Glacier if you have been to the Jungfrau Joch or if you plan to go up there. The best and even much cheaper view, in my opinion, you can get at the Canton of Valle. Up on the Eckison, you will get a fantastic vista over the bend of the Aletsch Glacier. You can even see Mount Jungfrau, Mönch and the Jungfrau Joch itself. I came here during summer, autumn and winter. Each time it was different. During October, there's a high chance that you may witness cloud inversion, or as I prefer to call it, the sea of clouds. That's when you're standing above the clouds. It was a really fantastic day. During summer, I would say the impression is the best, as the glacier ice is revealed, which is not the case from late autumn to spring. Nevertheless, it is also nice to come up here during winter. In fact, I would say that's the cheapest way to see the Aletsch Glacier, as with a ski pass, you may even see it from various stations. My favorite viewpoints were up on the Moos Flue, the Betmahorn, and of course the Eckishorn. The ski pass normally costs between 50 to 65 Swiss francs per day, and you can take unlimited rides on all the lifts. Johannes and I we got to experience three fantastic sunrises up on the Betmahorn. We were able to witness the red and golden glow on the glacier. Here, winters are certainly quite better. The sun rises late and the snow absorbs all the colors, which really creates a wonderful impression. Number 4 is one of my favorite hiking trails along the Bis du Milieu and Bis Vieux in Nande. This is another secret tip and surely a bit of a different kind of attraction. The canton of Valle is the home to many glaciers and the river Rhone, but otherwise it also has been struggling with the dry climate during summer. This led the locals to build these water irrigation systems that are called Zwonen in German or Bis in French. These trails are often quite long, but mostly are super easy as there is almost no incline. Nathaniel and I, we started our hike in Nande and first walked along the Bis du Milieu. The hike was very refreshing, we were mostly in the shade, walking in a beautiful forest, 
listening to the sounds of flowing water, very distressing, that's why I consider this being a healing trail. It took us roughly two hours to complete the Beastie Milieu, then we went for lunch, and we headed back to Nande through the Bis view. We even did a quick break and dipped our feet into the water that is actually very cold. On our way we got many beautiful impressions, but the great highlight were the stairs with the water drop and the sculpture. After a great and refueling hike, Nathaniel and I were already looking forward to trying out more hiking trails like this. We're now moving up to the podium of the top 10 places to be visited in the canton of Valle. Number 3 is in Verbier and that would be the Montfort. The town of Verbier is certainly famous in Switzerland, but what most of you might not know is that it hosts one of the best summits you could visit in the country. It takes quite a number of rides to ascend. From Bagne you will need to take five cabin rides. The first ride was really impressive, especially with this beautiful arrival at the village of Verbier. The following rides were nice too, in particular the one up to the Col de Gencia. During my first two visits, I was fortunate to spot some ibexes, especially Laura was really fascinated by them. The highlight was a lookout up on the summit of the Montfort. You will get a perfect 360 degrees panorama over the Swiss, French and even Italian Alps. You may spot the Matterhorn that looks quite different from the west and the Mont Blanc, the tallest peak of the Alps. I've been here during summer and winter. Personally, I prefer the view during winter as the entire snowscape looks really enchanting. I highly advise you to come here early. The best during the morning around 10 as you'll spend at least one hour in getting up to the very top. The last cabin ride at the Gol de Gencian up to the Montfort will be at 3.30 pm. If you go up there this late, you won't be able to enjoy the panorama that much. You can trust me on that because my first visit is pretty much like that. If you want to get some thrill, purchase your ticket for the zipline at the Montfort at the station of the Gol de Gencian. Costs you roughly 45 Swiss francs, but definitely it's really worth the money. At the top station you will need to turn right and go downstairs to this platform where we will be instructed properly. Once you're ready, you will feel the sudden kick initiating maximum adrenaline on Europe's highest located zipline. The Montfort is surprisingly cheaper than most of the famous peaks, but offers you one of the best panorama of the Alps in all of Switzerland. Afterwards, go for some drinks and food at Verbier village to conclude a great day up in the Swiss Alps. Number 2 is one of the most talked about places in Switzerland and that is Zermatt. Despite being very touristy and pricey, Zermatt remains one of my all-time favorites. Being up in the Alps always feels different. The clock seems to run slower, the dynamics are more relaxed, and with the fresh air up there, everything is set for a perfect holiday. I've been eight times up there, and yet I hardly get bored of it. There's really a lot to do. The most important activities obviously would be seeking great views over the Queen of the Alps, the iconic Matterhorn. My favorite viewpoint would be up on the Rotom, from there we get a brilliant frontal vista over the Matterhorn. The more popular spot would be at the Gornergrad, that is obviously never wrong to visit, especially the train ride up there is really a highlight. You can also send the Klein Matterhorn, Europe's highest located station on 3900 meters above sea level. First, you'll need to take this cabin ride up to the Trockner Steg. From there, you'll be the closest to the Matterhorn, and you can really feel how tall this mountain is. And having reached up on the Klein Matterhorn, you'll get a brilliant vista over the Matterhorn itself, the Swiss Alps, and even down to Broi Cervinia in Italy. Do not forget to visit the interior of the glacier. It's quite similar to South Fay, a cave full of ice sculptures of typical Valaison and other traditional Swiss motifs. The village of Zermatt is also very enjoyable, this during any season. In winter it may be more magical with the snow, while in the summer the colors will shine brighter. There's this section with the many old houses at the Hinterdorfstraße, 
must visit for anybody who comes up to Zermatt. Zermatt is also paradise for hikers. There's this Five Lakes hike that takes you to many great spots where you can get perfect reflections of the Matterhorn, well, if the weather was good. But then there's also this trail from Rotenboden down to the Riffelsee. Here you either will be able to enjoy a great sliding on the frozen lake or get this fantastic impression of a double Matterhorn. Before I'm going to reveal the number one best place to be visited in the canton of Valle, here are a few top honorable mentions. Sion, Leukrabat, the villages of Goms, Evolen, and Champelac. Now, here's the number one best place to be visited in the canton of Valle. It's one of the most beautiful villages, and that is Grimenz. Welcome to the probably most stereotypically Swiss Alpine village. Grimmens is a perfectly preserved village full of wooden houses, of which each one is unique. The road up to the village is quite thrilling, can be quite challenging for first-timers driving in the mountainous regions. You can park a car at the bottom of the village and then take this trail hiking up. The first spot that you most likely will get to see is this creek with the mills. Here you can see the traditional use of water for energy being showcased. Afterwards, you will be entering what I consider being one of the most beautiful alleys in all of Switzerland. I visited Gemens for a numerous time, came here during autumn, winter and summer. All impressions are great. During autumn, you'll have the fog and the orange larches. During winter, the houses often are going to be covered with snow. And in the summer months, most of the houses are decorated with geraniums. This yearly contest for the house with the most beautiful flower decoration, something that I really admire as this very much contributes to the charm of this village. Things to do in and around Grimens would be a visit to the Maison Grand Maman, a house that where you can learn more about the traditional lifestyle of the people up in these alpine villages, driving up to the Barrage du Moiré, where you can walk on the dam and see this lake with this strikingly turquoise color, or then take a cabin up to the Sorbois to get a great vista over the snow mountains. So many great places to be visited in the canton of Valle, and if you want to know which ones are the top 10 most beautiful cities of Switzerland, then I'm going to see you in this video. Otherwise, if you're more interested in the Philippines, then let's meet over there.